today we got half a pork loin. We're going to do this one a little different. I'm going to smoke it and I'm going to cut it up into chops and throw it on the grill. So I'm going to get this thing out of the vacuum pack. I'm going to get it uh, trimmed up, injected, get seasoned, and we're going to throw it out in some smoke. We'll be right back. Okay, here's what we got. And you can leave this fat cap on if you want. But there is silver skin under there. And for me, I'm going to trim all this off. So we're going to start out this one. Try to just get as much of the fat and leave the as much of the meat as you can. A sharp knife comes in handy. That silver skin. Can't get any seasoning down on the meat with that silver skin on there. So to get as much of it off as you can. Well, that's the easy side. See, I just get up, I put, stick the point of the knife up under it, and then cut back the opposite direction. And you're gonna get just a little bit of meat, not that much. And it does take a little bit of practice. And I really feel like it gives you a lot better product at the end. said a very sharp knife helps. The 
This knife has an Asian edge, which is cut the ground about twice as sharp as a regular standard knife. tell when you cut it that that silver skin is just tough. Even with a knife this sharp it's tough. That's probably about as much as we're going to do on it. Piece of this pad off. Right. There you go. Silver skin is basically gone. In fact, in just a second, we'll get it injected and seasoned. All right, here's my injection. What I did, I took uh, equal parts of pineapple juice and some uh, Creole butter, mixed those together, and that's what we're going to shoot this baby up with. And watch it; it'll spray back on you. Spray out everywhere. There we go. Say we're getting it pretty full because it's starting to spray out about as much as I'm putting in it. Put the rest of it over top of it, use it as a binder for our seasonings. Just a fancy word for glue. Okay, 
Seasoning wise on this one, we're going to stay really simple. We're going to go with some garlic powder. Give it a pretty good coat. Catch our ends. The other side. So just some coarse ground black pepper. Give it a pretty good coat of that. Hold them like we're going to end up with a, a thick cut uh, smoked pork chop out of this loin is what we're going after. If you can't find this stuff in the store, take the time and look it up <clears throat> on the computer and get some of this and try it because I'm telling you, it is a kick ass seasoning. I use it on pretty much everything beef, pork, chicken. I use it on everything. Like Frank's Red Hot. I use that shit on everything. And we're going to just some paprika for color out in the pit. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to go out and get the pit heated up. I'm going to stick this back in the fridge and let these uh, seasoning sweat in. And we put this thing on, we'll be back. All right, we're out here at the pit. Uh, I've got a 275. I only use one chimney of charcoal this time because we're going to take this thing to about 110 degrees internal uh, because we want to leave enough room. We want to finish off about 140, 145. It's final, but we're going to put this on the grill, like I said at the beginning. So we're just going to get some smoke into this thing. I'm running 275. I control all my heat up here. I got a water pan on that end right by the uh, firebox and we're going to throw this thing in here. Got a little bit of pecan wood going in there and that's where their smoke's coming from. So we're going to lay this right here right in the center and we're going to say goodbye to that for probably an hour and I'm going to check it, check a temp in an hour and I'll also take and put, uh, uh, if it isn't ready yet, I'll start spritzing it with apple juice at that point. All right, here we go. It's been an hour. Let's look at this and turn my light on. We'll spray it down with some apple. Now, I, I cheated and I uh, checked the temp on this before I turned the camera on because I wanted to know where I was. It's at uh, about 105, 106, and we're going to shoot for about 115 before we get it off of there. And. Uh, we get it in the house here, probably got another half hour or so. And uh, we'll be back when we cut this thing into some pork chops. All right, here we go. I just brought this in. I checked it. It was in the mid one teens. It's showing 118. So everybody's looking for 110 to 115, so we're real close. So we're going to give this just a little spray. There's some more apple juice to help with the moisture. And we're going to cover this with foil and put it in a box. And then here in uh, probably about an hour, I'll pull it out and cut some chops out of it. We'll be back. We're going to cut our chops out right now. And we're going to take this. First, I want to see what the temp's on. I'm just sitting in there for. 111, it's been in there about an hour, hour and a half. Now I like a thick chop, so I'm going to cut these pretty thick. Now see, this is why we smoked it. See the smoke ring? Dang it. Look at the smoke ring. And they still have about 30 degrees to go in temp.
and you want to cut through them one slice because you get a lot more even cut like it's one stroke Next thing we're going to do we need to season the uh, the face side of these so we're going to just, uh, just give them a dust on each side point they're smoked and we're going to treat them like a pork chop. So it's going to be basically salt and pepper and the chachari has some other things in it. And then get the other side. Now we take these outside I got about a 500 degree grill going out there. A 500 degree grill that's pretty hot. We're going to treat these just like a steak. We're going to go probably about five minutes on each side. But we're going to put them on. Go two and a half minutes. So we're going to turn them 90 degrees. Two and a half minutes. And we're going to flip them over and do the same thing. And try to get some hash mark grill marks on these. We're ready for the grill. I have pinchers. I have pinchers. Yeah. I got them out. I remember. You don't you know what you did with them. Okay, it's been two minutes. We're going to look at these and see what kind of... Yeah, we get a little bit of char. Now, when you grab one of these and you're trying to get char, see I picked up that way 90 degrees. Just turn it there. Kind of turning. I guess is the best way to explain it. It's 90 degrees, so you get one there, and you turn it 90 degrees. Get it off the top. Got them all flipped. We'll give another two or three minutes here. I'm just flipping these. Then we give them about two minutes, and I got some excellent hash marks going on here. really good. You got some really good hash marks going there. But uh, we've got to go for 140. Really good. Okay, I'm just checking these. And they're doing really good. I just flipped them. They've been about two, two and a half minutes on each side. And we still need another, well, some of them need 10 degrees. Some of them need a little bit more, but. We'll pull them off as they need to be pulled off. Okay, 
do you see that hash mark? I'm telling you what, the biggest secret is to keep that grill clean. A clean spot makes a better hash mark. of it we're gonna close this lid down make sure we get up here we want to get about 140 145 we're our final internal temp I guess while we're waiting we can talk about the weather <coughs> it's in the mid uh, 50s tonight that's why you saw the blankets on the uh, on the smoker this one's insulated you don't have to worry about that on this one but you'll notice we'll be out here, there'll be snow flying, and we'll still be smoking. I mean, that, that that's coming soon. It's the end of September, so... It's going to be snow before long. Check the temp. We're looking for like 145. Let's see what we got. Thirty-eight. This one's done. So as they get done, don't be afraid to take them out and stick them in the pan and keep them covered. They'll stay warm. This one's done too. Mid 140s, that's what we're going for. I guess the lesson here is you gotta keep checking them all. I'll just check one and think they're all at that temp. Alright. These others can go just a little bit longer. Now when you go to grill these are like a steak. You wanna try to get a good hash mark. That was a little bit more done it looks like or just sitting in the au jus for a minute. So 145 degrees, that was our target temp, and I grew them until they were tap. So hey, we're ready to eat. Everything looks good. And I guarantee it's gonna be juicy, watch this. Cut this in half. If you like a thick pork chop, if you like a smoked pork chop, you can put your favorite barbecue sauce on this. I'm telling you what, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And man, major juicy. Let's see if we get some juice out of this. Oh yeah, major juicy. For a pork chop. Yeah, this is a great way to do it. So eat it. <laughs>